week, Bamboo Lab have announced this, the P1S 3D printer. Now, the P1S is an upgraded version of the P1P, which was Bamboo Lab's budget version of the X1. What's really interesting, though, about the P1P was the fact that it was built on the same platform as the X1, and whilst it didn't have all of the same bells and whistles, it had all of the main features, which meant you still had that high-speed printing, easy use, and great print quality. The P1S is a new printer that moves between those two models and in this video I'm going to give you an overview of the printer itself, some of its features and capabilities. Now, just to be clear, this is not a review, this is going to be an overview, but I will be doing a review on the P1S in the next couple of weeks, and if you're interested in seeing that, please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Furthermore, I do have a full review of the X1 Carbon on this channel as well, there will be a link to that in the description if you're interested in seeing that one too. The P1S is the latest printer from Bamboo Labs based on their P-Series platform. It is a fully enclosed printer, which means you can not only print the likes of PLA and PETG, but also ABS filaments too. It features a self-leveling removable sprung PEI sheet bed, and it has a maximum print volume of 256 by 256 by 256 up to 100 degrees C. An all-metal hot end up to 300 degrees, and is one of the fastest 3D printers available on the market today, capable of up to 500 millimeters a second. It also has lots of additional functionality, including Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, allowing you to configure and control the printer from the Bamboo Lab software, as well as their handy app, a built-in time-lapse camera, and is also fully compatible with the Bamboo Lab AMS module, allowing you to be able to do multi-material, multi-colour prints. Now, just to talk about the differences between the P1S and the P1P, first of all. This printer is on the same platform, however, we now have new glass front door, plastic sides as well as a glass top which makes it enclosed like the X1 and that means you can print filaments like ABS. They've also added all of that temperature control stuff as well so we have the auxiliary parts fan on board and the cabinet casing fan too which allows it to regulate its temperatures. Alongside the fans you also have that carbon air filter included which allows you to filter out those nasty smells from some of those dyno based filaments. There's also a PCB fan now on this printer, ensuring that the electronics get the cooling that they need. Now, price-wise, the P1S is coming in at $699. That is the original price that the P1P launched at. In recent times, though, we've seen the P1P get a price reduction down to $599, and now they've slotted this in above it at just $100 more. For that $100, you're getting the fully enclosed printer now with that temperature-regulated enclosure. You're getting the new PEI gold sheet. And overall, you're getting a printer that sits much closer to what we had on the X1 without some of the features you may not ever need. With regards to the differences between the P1S and the X1, whilst the gap has closed with the sides and the internal fans, the fundamentals do remain the same that this is still a P-series printer. That means the X1 still has that better large colour touchscreen and a number of other features like the built-in micro LiDAR sensor that allows the printer to calibrate its flow rates as well as detect errors on the first layer of the print, a higher quality camera and a hardened steel hot end and gear set. Whilst there are differences though, the fundamental basics are that the P1 series delivers pretty much the same results as the X1, and the difference between these printers is closer than it's ever been, and for many people this printer is going to be the perfect option over the other models. Now, as I've said, this video is not a review. However, I did get the printer set up and we did a quick test print with a Benchy, which is the one that's preloaded onto the SD card that completes in under 20 minutes.
As you've seen, the first print completed successfully and taking a closer look, it's come out really nice. Whilst it isn't perfect, you're always going to get some imperfections on a fast benchy, especially around this area here with the deck is in the print. What I can say though, that there's no stringing and overall everything looks exactly as I would have expected from this printer. And it's very interesting considering whilst this printer does have auto bed leveling, it doesn't have that automatic flow calibration and that LiDAR sensor, but it does just show that this printer is able to deliver some really impressive results even without those features. Just doing a couple of other test prints, we first of all did this Rose in PLA. This is in VAS mode, just to give a demo of how the printer can actually handle things like this. And then I moved on to an ABS print with a carabiner just to do a test on what it actually comes out like, what the strength is like, and just to ensure that it is able to print those ABS prints in the way we expect them to with this new enclosure. Now, as I've said, this isn't my review of the P1S. That will be coming in the future. But I do have some thoughts up front. And actually, even now, I'm finding it hard to say why most people would need to go for the X1. What the P1 series and the P1S and P1P does really well from what I've seen so far is have that turnkey out the box functionality, great print results and the speed. And whilst there's no question that the X1 is a better printer, I'm not sure how many people are really going to need the extra features that that have. About the only thing I think is definitely better on the X1 is the touchscreen display. But other than that, from what I've seen so far, this is a very, very compelling option. Now, as I've said already, this is available for $699 and you can order it today. It is not vaporware, it is not coming in the future, and it is shipping to users as I've made this video. If you're not interested in this though, you can get the P1P for $599, or if you did want to go for the top dog, the X1 is available as well and there are links to all of those printers in the description of this video. If you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content like this in the future, please do consider checking out those links if you are wanting to purchase one of these bamboo units. Now I am really interested in knowing what you think about what you've seen here today and this printer. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I will try and answer them. I want to say a massive thank you to Bamboo for sending this one over for us to have a look at. As I've said, make sure you are subscribed, that way you will get a notification when our review releases in the future. And if you're interested in getting one, there is a link in the description to not only this printer, but also my review of the X1 as well. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Stay safe, I'll speak to you soon.